Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to be unboxing and setting up a new laser. So let's get to it. Thank you so much Algo Laser for sending us their DIY kit mini 5 watt laser. So let's go unbox it. All right, so we have everything unboxed. Everything is here, so let's go over it. So first of all, it comes with a very clear instruction manual that is in color, which is really nice, very clear, and everything here is clearly labeled. It does come with some consumables. We have three very thin aluminum painted cards to test engraving on, and a piece of, it looks like an eighth inch plywood, a little paintbrush for something and some zip ties. So here's our power brick and power cord, our laser itself, and it's so cute and small. It does not have air assist, but it looks like it can be provisioned for air assist later on. Uh, so we'll have to look into that. Here's our control box. It's already wired up, pre-wired for everything. Some connections. It looks like you can connect maybe a rotary or something here, and then a USB-C type connector to connect to your computer. The wide gantry is already assembled, which is really nice. And it does have like printed distances on here. So you can see this is gonna be a 30 centimeter or 300 millimeter in the Y direction. And in the X direction, it looks like it is 31. Our frame, clearly labeled A, B, C, and D. Our feet, our belt for our Y axis movement. Comes with a little aluminum focusing tool. All of our hardware here, mostly M5 screws and different lengths. Some tools to assemble, Allen wrenches, little screwdriver, a limit switch, which looks like we have to kind of put together on our own with these screws. And then our brackets for the corners of our gantry. Uh-oh, the screw hole's on this side, so I gotta flip this around. Screws here for the bottom, screws here for the side.
so this is adjustable we can move this down if we need to i'm going to leave it as it is for now because i'm not really sure where the focus area is going to be and this way we can allow us to use our honeycomb bed and lift up the laser a little bit higher for our work material so i'm going to leave it right here as it came for now So this step right here is not for us. We don't have the 10 watt system, nor do we have the air pump. So we get to skip it. Okay, that's it. Pretty easy to assemble, very clear directions. Obviously this is a much smaller footprint, but still at this price point, very well built, has limit switches. Um, this particular laser head does not have a air assist nozzle, uh, but what's great about this particular thing is it's a kit, meaning you can upgrade parts of it. So we can upgrade the laser head at a future point. We could add air assist at a future point. Really neat, overall good quality and it's time to get it set up with a computer and connect to Lightburn. We're connected. All right, so we're gonna do a materials test here. So we'll go to laser tools, material test. I'm just gonna set up our parameters, speed and power. And we're gonna slow this down 100 millimeters per minute at its slowest and 1,000 millimeters per minute at its fastest. For power, we'll go to 10 to 100%. For our text, yep, that should be okay. All right, I think we're ready for our materials test. Okay, so we noticed that when we were framing something out, there's no indicator so we know where to put our piece. So that's actually just a setting in Lightburn that we need to do. So to do that, we just need to go to device settings here. And we need to enable laser fire button, and then we're gonna click this laser on when framing, and we're gonna hit okay. Now that's step one. Step two, we need to be in the move tab, and we need to basically just Barely turn the laser on for that framing so we don't mark it. So we're going to hit like 0.25% here to enable that. So now that that's set, I'm going to reframe this. You're going to see the little blue light come on. That's going to be kind of how we see if we're in the right spot. So that's how you tell if you've got your material set in the right spot. There's no crosshairs or anything like that on this machine.
All right, so we're done with our new engraving test and cutting test. Let's see if we've actually cut through here. I think we have on some of them. Oh, yeah. This is quarter inch ply or five millimeters, and we cut through a few of them on three passes. So yeah, this thing can actually cut. We got a much better engraving here. Now we set it really, really fast, and I was actually surprised that this thing can actually go that fast. You can see if we just amp up the power here, we can get some pretty nice marking at a very fast speed. Now this is printed backwards because I got the origin flipped in the materials test, but I fixed that for this one. So it's just the print is backwards, but you can see our results are a lot better than our first engraving test where that was uh, just a little too slow. So I think I underestimated the power of this little five watt system the first time. So it actually can do some serious work here. Algo Laser also has an option to control the laser wirelessly on a mobile device by downloading their app. So that's it. Process was pretty simple. The instructions were very clear to get this laser set up. It was easy to use and connectivity to the computer was really simple. It is able to connect to an app if you wanted to control it with your phone. We prefer Lightburn ourselves, but that setup process was really simple. We also like that this machine is actually pretty capable for a five watt system, more so than we thought initially that it would be. And then the last thing is it is, it's a kit, so it's upgradable. So we like the fact that we could just switch modules and uh, control boxes and add air assist later or whatever the case may be. So we certainly like having that upgrade ability. And this is a very nice entry point laser that is certainly capable to handle simple cutting and engraving projects. Once again, a huge thank you to Algo Laser for sending us this laser engraver. If you'd like to get the laser engraver we set up today, you can check out the link in the description and get one for yourself. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications to get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.